Hi, welcome to my channel, White Raven's Cauldron. This evening I'm going to be reading for Aries. So that's Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. You could be dealing with an Aries. Or you have Aries somewhere in your chat. This is a special full moon reading. And it's a full moon in Aries. So, you know, shit's flying off the handle right now. And things are a little bit chaotic. So yes... I was pulled to do this star sign test. Um, there is others that I'm going to be uploading. Issues with internet, just your general bullshit. Um, especially during this time. Okay, so what is coming towards Aries, please? Now remember, time is fluid. So there could be something here from the past that is still affecting your present. What is coming towards Aries? What is Aries currently dealing with? What is Aries currently dealing with? I'm going to be doing a challenge spread. So we'll see what's coming towards you in regards to challenges. Or what you're dealing with. One more shuffle, Spirit's saying. One more shuffle. Okay, Aries. Aries. What is coming towards Aries? Okay, what's the challenge? What's the nature of the challenge that Aries needs to know? Empress reversed is what flew out. Um, there is going to be some secrets and lies that are going to be revealed and someone is not happy. The Empress reversed is not happy. She's very, very spiteful, very jealous, very bitter. This can sometimes indicate a loss of some sort. Could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, Libra. Somebody's not taking care of themselves, not taking care of the children. They're falling behind, they're falling, they're, they're not coping. Somebody's not coping, might not be coping mentally. There's way too much going on for this Empress to deal with right now. Um, I can give more information on the Empress as I go through the reading, whether at what aspects she's in the reverse position for. But this can sometimes also indicate the loss of a child for somebody. Feeling very, very disconnected. Okay. What's the strength, please, on facing this challenge? But somebody's got this empress. Ugh, she's not feeling right. She's not right. She's really not right. This is somebody who is definitely struggling. Stop taking care of themselves the way they used to. They're not putting good things in their body. They're not nurturing. It's like something's gone wrong. It's a strength, please. Okay, the hangman in reverse. So, so you, somebody's definitely not going to be waiting around much longer for something. Um, they've had enough of the waiting period. They've been stagnant. Um not knowing whether things are, are going to get better. The universe is, for some of you, asking you to see things from a different point of view. Maybe you're seeing things in a very perplexed way. You're not seeing the truth of a situation. You're, you're stuck. There's, there's a feeling of not being able to let go. So somebody is like a dog with a bone in this situation. They're not letting go of something. What's the weakness, please? Weakness. It's a lot of greed here. A lot of greed. What's the weakness, please? Hermit reversed and the judgment reversed. So Somebody's made some bad decisions. They've gone away and they've been thinking about things, but 
if not thought things through properly. Could be dealing with a Virgo and Aries again as well. Somebody's definitely making some bad choices. There's some bad karma. And it's going to force somebody to come out and speak. Somebody's got the truth on the situation and they're going to be speaking. Advice, please, regarding this. Advice. Knight of Coins reversed. So it's very Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Something's very, very unstable. Very unstable. It's not secure. Finances aren't secure. There's a problem. There is a problem. It's almost like everything's... The world's turned upside down someone's world but somebody's dealing with somebody who's very unstable unstable in finances feeling like they're being used not making good decisions there's also a lot of greed and um, a lot of greed in dietary requirements as well somebody's excessively eating it's not healthy they've, they've not got no healthy heating eating patterns they've, they've picked up an unhealthy eating pattern We've got the Three of Swords underneath, so this does indicate major heartbreak, betrayal, being let down, possibly more than once as well. Let's get some clarifiers on this now. Let's find out. Dig a little bit deeper. Let's clarify this reading, please, Spirit. Clarify this reading for Aries. Clarify the Empress Reverse, please. Clarify the Empress Reverse. Very tired. Somebody is very tired. Empress Reverse for Aries. Oh, there we go. And we have got... Queen of Cups, so there needs to be a lot of self-love here, there needs to be some more self-love, um, there's a lot of intuition with this card, could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or you've got this somewhere in your chart, very intuitive, there's a lot of psychic ability here, psychic gifts, there's a, quite a maternal feeling to this energy, so somebody could be having issues with their mum or their sister or child. There's a lot going on that somebody's not aware of. Something going on beneath the surface. And I feel like somebody needs some love, some appreciation. This could also be another woman. This could be another woman in this relationship, an ex-partner who somebody has children to and they're causing issues. What's the hangman in reverse, please? Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. The love has gone. There could be anxiety attacks here, heart palpitations. I can see heart palpitations, but there's no love, there's no growth. There's no openness anymore. Everything's closed off. I think somebody's closed off so much that they literally can't see things from a different point of view. There's too much that's been going on. There's been too much happening. Again, water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Too much has gone on. What's the Hermit Reverse, please? Hermit Reverse. That's too many. Clarify the Hermit Reverse. Seven of Swords reversed. Loss, theft, deception. Ugh, malice. This is somebody th uh, is thieving. But there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of paranoia with this card as well. A lot of paranoia. You're allowing fear to hold you back. Acting very, very timid. Even though there's a situation happening that's not right. Somebody still, they have the answers, but they still won't speak up. 
could be someone with a Libra Gemini or Aquarius. So they might have clothes reversed. Somebody doesn't want to speak up for fear because they just seem to lose out all the time. So we've got the Nine of Cups. Yeah, greed. Somebody's very, very greedy, very deviant, selfish, sort of knowing that they've got away with this behaviour. Somebody knows they've got away with it and they're happy about it. They think that this is the end. This is the end. Some more cards, please, to clarify this reading. Yeah, somebody's got a hidden agenda. A hidden agenda. So we've got the Ten of Wands. So, yes, I said somebody's tired. They're carrying too much. They're struggling, juggling. This is such a nice person who is dealing with all of this. And they're just, yeah, it's the home. They're trying to keep the home together. They're juggling children, the, the partnered life, trying to keep everything afloat, doing, doing their best to keep the family together, all the while knowing deep inside somebody has been deceptive. But there's going to be something new coming in, a new sense of life maybe, new ideas, new creativity. It could be definitely got our energy all over this Aries, Leo, Sag. There's going to be something new coming in. Something that's like a, a bolt out of the blue. That gets you thinking again. One more card, please. Oh, I hate it when they do this. They just decide to throw themselves all over the floor. The world. So that's good. That's a major completion. A cycle has ended. Something's coming to an end now. Now this idea is going to be birthed into this existence. And all these old karmic cycles, you know, the, the cycles, the patterns, the repeated shit is going to end. Something new is going to come in. Can I have some more information, please, regarding this reading for Aries? More information for this regarding Aries. Yeah. So follow your internal compass. Just keep moving forward. There's no room. There's, there's no need to keep going backwards or repeating. You've got to go north. You know, north and south, it's either going forwards or going backwards. This is asking you to follow your true north. You know, follow the trail of breadcrumbs that the universe is leaving for you. You know, the signs and cues that some of you are possibly missing. Can I go on now, please? Lovely. So there's definitely some finances coming in, some good luck, something you've been waiting for. And there's a new destination on the horizon, moving, there's movement here. Someone may be actually physically moving somewhere as well. But there's movement away from chaos and drama. Can I have a card for Aries, please? Long distance travel. Card for Aries. So we have got focus. So the focus is if I give you an arrow and bow to use, how will you shoot and hit your mark? This is a reminder that you must let go of all distractions and have the courage to give it your all. Your arrow will be drawn to whatever you focus on, so keep your eye on the target. However, remember that you can't control every outcome. Just as the wind can influence the path of your arrow, there are many factors determining the course of your plans. To achieve anything, you must focus, take aim, but then let go. So this is asking you to let go of everything, the karmic cycles, whatever has happened has happened. There's no point dwelling on the past. There's a new cycle coming into being. There's a new inspiration, new ideas, a new hope. And this is asking you to focus on that now. 
because your focus has been deviated elsewhere because of other people's problems. So I'll leave that there, Aries. This was your special full moon reading. Let me know in the comments section if this resonated. Like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen witch happy by giving me a big thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon.